Welcome to Laurel's WordPress School. This is a year-long project where you're going to learn WordPress from the inside out. As I said, it's a year-long course project, all done online. Five days a week, I will publish educational materials to help you learn WordPress from the inside out. So what does that mean? Most people, when they s decide to start a website, it's all about the design. It's all about the picture. They always say, well, I want my site to look like this. The problem with that is they put all of their energy into the design of the site. And then when it comes time to actually use it to publish on it, they're burned out. They're bored. And it doesn't quite work the way they thought it did. So what we're going to do is turn that around and learn WordPress from the inside out. Because your site's design must frame and complement your content. Laurel's WordPress School is unique because I focus on three core areas, content, code, and design. The content, where we're going to be spending the majority of our time, we're going to be looking at how WordPress structures and organizes content. We're going to talk about posts, pages, categories, and tags. That's where we're going to start right away because those elements are really confusing to people. We're going to work on how to customize the site through your menus, your navigation, all the widgets and everything. We're going to look at various ways that you publish content and stick content in WordPress. It is amazing what people jam into WordPress and we're going to make it work and look good and cover all of the different types of posts that you can publish on WordPress so you understand if you are new to WordPress, you're going to understand how to do this. If you are a WordPress designer, developer, you're going to learn how to accommodate clients who jam everything into WordPress and all different kinds of content. We're going to look at links, linking, and citation. These are the bonds that hold a web site as well as the web in general together. We're going to explore the interactivity and how to integrate that with WordPress. We're going to look at comments and comment spam, social media integration, and syndication through feeds and email subscriptions and such. We're also going to explore an area that isn't covered in a lot of WordPress schools, and that's user roles and multiple contributors. I think it's very important to learn that because many WordPress sites today have more than one contributor and it impacts the design and the development and content organization and structure on a WordPress site when there is more than one contributor. We're going to look at code. Now, I don't mean code as in you're going to learn PHP and JavaScript and HTML. There'll be a little of that. But what I talk about in code is how to customize WordPress to make it hold the content that you want, how to make it work the way you want it to work. We're going to talk about page views and the dynamic content aspect of WordPress. We're going to look at site management, administration, migration, deployment, and troubleshooting so that you understand how to fix the things that are broken and how to make how WordPress works from the surface part of the code looking in towards the code so you understand those basic functionalities and the conditionals that WordPress uses. On the design, we're going to look at default designs in WordPress, the various site models. We're going to look at explore WordPress themes and how they work. We're going to create a child theme. We're going to work on WordPress plugins and how they extend the functionality of WordPress. That's way down later because that's the paint that we add to the site. But we're going to build the bones first through the content and the code, and then we're going to paint it. Should you be taking this class? If you're new to WordPress, if you are new to web publishing in general, absolutely. If you're experienced with WordPress but self-taught, I highly recommend it. It's important that you learn the words. And on your way, I bet you skipped a few little steps. So this will help you as a refresher as well as to learn the things that you missed. If you are a WordPress developer designer, absolutely. And let me tell you why. There's something about WordPress pretty magical in the WordPress community. This is the course you need to take you through the very basics of WordPress at your pace so you can learn, but more importantly, you can teach others. There's just something about WordPress. The moment you say anywhere, anywhere at a social event or at a family party, you say, yeah, I know WordPress. And they say, oh, really? Uh, can you help me with my WordPress site? Can you show me how to do something on my WordPress site? Learning WordPress means learning how to teach WordPress. So even if you are a paid 
freelance, you have a business contractor, you are doing WordPress development, take a moment to skim through these because they're designed to not only teach you about WordPress, but teach you how to teach others about WordPress. To participate, you're going to do the weekly readings and assignments. I want you to ask questions. I want you to help each other, offer tips. Join our Google Plus WordPress school community where you can ask questions and you can get help from others as well as help each other. I want this to be really interactive because that's when it's the most fun. I also will be posting some additional assignments and discussions in the Google Plus WordPress school community. So check those out. Right now, head over and get yourself introduced. The weekly schedule is on Monday. I'm going to be releasing a to-do list for the week and have the first assignment. On Tuesday and Wednesday will be more assignments and reading to do. You've got to do some of the reading. On Thursday, I will introduce you to WordPress words, jargon, terminology, all the different words, some of the history that make up the names of things in WordPress. So you can learn those. On Friday, we're going to sum up the week and I will probably give you some weekend assignments and reading to do. All of this is free, no charge, pro bono, free, all year long. There are no grades, no judgment calls. I am hoping to have some great team projects so that we can work on things together through the Google Plus community. Uh, you are going to create and work on a minimum of four sites during the year, maybe more if we can get them going. You're going to explore the hosted or managed version of WordPress on WordPress.com and the self-hosted version of WordPress much later in the year. Prerequisites, you need to be familiar with browsers and email, but not with WordPress. You don't have to know how to use WordPress. If you're new, awesome, welcome. Here's your chance to learn. But you do need to know how to use a web browser, how to use the tabs, how to do web pages and search, and it, you really need to know how to manage your email. You will need a live testing and experimental WordPress site, preferably WordPress.com to start. I will explain all of that later, but I think that's a really, really healthy place to start and it's free and easy. You will need an active email address. I highly recommend that you have access to a printer because there are some worksheets to print out that you will want to fill out and work on, especially this first couple of weeks. You'll need a graphic or photo editing software program. There's some free on the web. There's some cheap, inexpensive ones. Photoshop works from Adobe. You will need to have one to four pictures of yourself and a variety of images to serve as header art and to complement your content. You will need to have access to at least one popular social media account. And since you're all going to be hanging out with me on Google+, that could be your one. But you could also add one of the others. When we get to the section about integrating social media, into your WordPress site. So your test site, which we will create at the end of the first week, will be visible to the public, but close to search engines, essentially hiding it. This is important because I want you to have the opportunity to get help, to have other participants in Laurel's WordPress school see what you're doing and cheer you on. We're here to support each other through the process. Your test site needs to have a focus, a purpose, and a mission to be most effective. I don't want you to just think, I'm going to create a test site and slap a theme on it. We're going to play with a theme. No, you can go do that anywhere else in the world here at Laurel's WordPress School. I want you to start with content. We're going to start with everybody on the same theme, and we're going to start with content so that you understand how to shove the stuff into WordPress. Because if you design something and you hand it over to a client, that's what they're going to do. And the odds are they're probably going to break it. If you are working with a site yourself, you're going to cram stuff in it. We need to deal with it. So I want you to have good stuff to cram in there. Because you are going to break the site as well as make it beautiful. So it's nice to have it visible to myself and to other participants in, the, in this. But not seen by the rest of the world. We don't need it to show up on search engines, things like that, because you are going to break it before you make it beautiful. But I want you to think that this is a rare opportunity to play and to create a site on any subject. So why not make it a good one? Because over the years, these student sites, these test sites, these experimental things have actually 
changed people's lives. It's changed the path they were on where they went, well, you know, I'm good at beef jerky, so why don't I blog about that? And then by the end of the course, they think, you know, everybody likes my beef jerky. I Maybe I should go into this business. We've had many success stories of, of students who, in my college course, who resisted me and said, I don't want to blog. Blogging is stupid. I can't write. I can't do this. I had one student who fought me and then came back a year later and said, um, my blog just won this big, huge award. And some of my scripts just got picked up for anime movies. Oh, my goodness. It was amazing. And he said, it's because of you. You changed my life. I have had other people who said, well, I like taking pictures. So why don't I just share my pictures? And now they're professional photographers. You, you never know where this is going to go. I've had people who said, well, I haven't had a kind of an interesting life. I kind of think it's boring, but I've got some good stories. So why don't I just kind of write about me? And they sold their book and it's being considered as a TV movie. You never know where this is going to go, but you will work best when you have something that you can hang on to and you, you have content to manipulate. So pick something fun. Here's how. Choose a topic you can talk about for three to five years without getting bored. Something that you enjoy doing frequently and regularly and something you're familiar with, possibly an expert at. Don't just choose whatever. Try to find something that you really are good at. You need to have images and video or find some that will support the content. And I'd really like it to be something that you might want to do for the rest of your life if time, money, and energy were not an excuse. Go on. What do you have to lose? Because you may never get another chance to play with something you are truly passionate about. So why not do it now as you learn? Much more fun. All right. First week, you're going to introduce yourself on the Google Plus WordPress School community and on my site if you would like. You're going to work on the site master plan worksheet. We're going to do a lot of intellectual stuff this first week because I've got to get some concepts screwed down into your gray matter. So you're going to explore some pages and posts and categories and tags in WordPress, that part that just really messes with people's heads and they mess it up often. We're going to get that figured out. And at the end of the weekend, towards the end of the week, we're going to set up your WordPress test or experimental site, again, preferably on WordPress.com, and you're going to edit and write your about page. Here's my motto. There are no stupid questions, only stupid people who don't ask stupid questions. Got it? Good. So before we launch off into this amazing year-long project, I need to say thank you to some people. First of all, Clark College. They took me on, brave folks that they are. Specifically, Robert Hughes of the Computer Technology Department at Clark College. He saw that WordPress was the hope for not only his students' future and careers, but the hope of the industry. This is the path that web publishing is going. And he had the vision and the courage to bring me in and to make this happen. We completely restructured the whole web development program, and I highly recommend if you want a career in web development and web publishing and web design, please come to Clark College, Vancouver, Washington, Portland, Oregon area, and you will get a phenomenal degree program and you will get experience to walk out and get jobs. Also, thank you to Portland Community College where I teach WordPress from time to time. And when I'm doing some videos where I will have some music, thank you to Pottyton Bear with their wavy glass tunes. And to my dear, beloved, much, much taught, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, my amazing husband who has stood by me for all of these years and put up with all of my stuff. Uh, he is my rock. Thank you. But most of all, I need to thank all of my students over the many, many years. You challenged me to see WordPress differently. You made me rethink it. And because of you, I teach WordPress better. And you help me create this WordPress from the inside out concept. So thank you. And this is my gift back to all of you. 
Are you ready? Let's go. Head on over to laurel.wordpress.com, and I'll see you there.